Hey folks, welcome here to Dynamic Discs as we bring you the feature card coverage of the biggest disc golf tournament in Mexico. My name is Dustin and I'll be joined by Fabian, the content marketing director over at Dynamic Disc. How's it going, dude? Yeah, amazing. I'm just so stuck to do this and uh, let's do it. Yeah, absolutely. As we do have a five player card here, which one familiar face on there, but a couple of locals uh, who are really excited to get going. As again, this is one of the biggest events we've had in disc golf in the country and uh, it's always cool to see disc golf in new places as we kick things off here at hole one at Kokuyo. yeah this is hole one right here it's pretty straightforward shot you need to take if you're a righty handed you take this hyzer around this first tree which has a mando and you're trying to land right there at that golf green to make your skip towards the basket and avoid those uh, hazards which all the sand traps play as hazard So like you said, pretty straightforward as our card will kind of greet each other before we get started. Certainly excited to see this as it'll be your brother Juan actually taking the first tee here. Yeah, this is my brother Juan Alvarte. Uh, he's been playing for uh, six years now and he won this tournament last year. So that's why he's in the feature card. Indeed, just trying to play that soft hyzer skip off the golf green as you're referring to and it's done so very well. Circles fetch. Now this we have is Diego Perez. Diego Perez. He is from San Diego, and uh, he's been winning all the tournaments that he comes to play in Mexico. I uh, kind of got caught up there on the right-hand side, but still could pitch up for pars. We now get to Paige Shu. Of course, you'll recognize her, of course, as she has around 66 career FPO wins. She is also the 2018 FPO World Champion and was a 2010 Amateur World Champion. So a very successful career. and just avoids the hazard. Now we have Alberto Gonzalez, West Side Discs player. He is the highest rated player from the people who train and live in Mexico. I believe you were telling me Diego is technically the highest rated player at the event, but yes, he is the highest rated player from Mexico That's here today and great shot. And here is Israel Shai Negrete. He is a DJ, so he likes his discs. And he is the local. He is from this area of Mexico, and he's here to represent of the, the local community, the local club. So he throws the plastic and the vinyl. <laughs> That's I correct. gotcha. And so he was the CTP off of the tee. Nice. Almost in the uh, foot golf hole there. Yeah, that foot golf hole plays a uh, casual relief if you get in there. <laughs> I, I figured that wouldn't be an OB <laughs> or anything like that. That'd be a little rough because we are going to see Diego pitch up here. A little bit left there. All right, here's a chance for uh, there birdie, and that'll go. Alberto, That's a great start. He, he puts with shields, and he makes that parabolic type of putt. A little short there from Paige with the judge, but she'll be able to grab the par no problem. And he falls short. My brother, he puts with pures. A couple of wells in the putting green here, but early days, of course. I think those are nerves. I mean, playing yeah, with Paige, most of these people have never played with a pro uh, ever. So nerves and the camera, of course. Oh, absolutely. Definitely adds a different layer to the competition, having that. So one birdie, mini pars, or actually two birdies and mini pars to get the hole number two. Yeah, this hole played last year as a par four, but then we realized it was a too easy par four. So now it's a par three, which are, asks for a big arm if you want to birdie it. You need to get past this golf green, then the sand trap, and then have a chance for birdie up here. You can miss to the right, uh, hitting that tree that's in front of you, or to the left with those big bushes, which we call Chewbacca's. Those are out of bounds. <laughs> we got Beto taking the T. Nice little slow turning shot here. Avoids any penalties. 
and shine I'm pretty sure he's throwing a captain air with lots of hyzer yep yeah quite That's an understable be. disc and lightweight so definitely gets that big turn you'd expect You know, your brother Juan, his footwork <laughs> at the beginning really reminds me of Macbeth. Oh, yeah. You know what? They call him Juan Macbeth at his home car. He, he lives in Chicago, and that's how they call yeah, it's him. Just this, it's that little footwork at the beginning yep. looks so reminiscent, man. Y you know it's that. Uncanny. And he throws his um, Ladder to 64 flow. He loves that disc. Bro, the flow is so popular in my region of the United States, by the way, because mm. uh, of Matt Orem. Oh, yeah. Made that flow very popular in our area. Of course, Matteo being a Westside disc player, doing really well over here on the Disc Golf Pro Tour. So we see Paige rip one out there. Whoa, this is a big shot, like for real. I think I've gotten that birdie three times, and I played that course a lot of times. I believe she likes to throw like a lot of sheriffs and stuff like that for her distance drivers, so that could have been what that was, not sure. We see Probably. Diego pop one out there. Sean trying to go back to back. Just a little short on that one. Alberto pretty much same type of execution. Just not committed enough. Ooh. Top band. There we go. Angel grab her first birdie early here. One taps in as well, and we have two birds. Ooh. Oh, no. Hate to see that. I didn't know that was going to happen. I don't think he did either. This right here is hole number three. It's one of the easiest ones of, 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 the, of the course. You have this short sand trap and golf green but they are pretty short from the actual green so it's pretty straightforward just take your right highest or lefty forehand some players will go with the turnover there too Juan keeps the box here skips off the green and puts himself in circle one or at least looks close to it. It's a little bit outside the circle, I'll say, from those flags. Looks like the same dish in the previous hole here from Page Shu. Ooh. A little too much turn on that one. I think that tree helped her. Just kept her closer. And I think Sean Shine also find a lot of turn here. Yeah, I think he went for the same type of shot with just trying to go softer, but went to the right. Kind of pulled that one a little bit. Lights out though into the open to get a pitch up for par. And that's a little bit away from the circle. That was a bounty from Beto. Good up here from Diego. There right go. next to the pin for a stress-free par. Shine for a chance at birdie here. That just flies in the face of it. Mm. Paige not really wanting anything to do with it. Just pitches up for her par. There you go. Oh, wow. Just Some big putts already from Beto this round. Yep, two right there. And that was high. I can tell you that something from my brother. If he misses, he misses low. This was new for me.
this is hole 4 part 3 this was the easiest hole last year but this year we added a we made it an island you can see those whiskers and those are a circle of 38 feet which marks the island if you miss that island you go to a drop zone now the old classic island hole at least it comes a little bit later in the round not right off the rip That'll settle in there, looks like. Or did he fall just out? Oh, man, right on the edge. That's what an island will make to your head. Oh, man, that was so close. A little branch direction. Yeah. Probably like that. I know my brother likes to crank on overstable plastic, so that must be a justice. Really? Mm-hmm. Dang, man, those things are bricks, so and this is props the, to him. This is the opposite school of thought right here. This is a judge. Yeah, she loves throwing those judges, that's for sure, and does well with it. Man, there's no way I could throw a Justice 280 feet. Oh, there's yeah. no chance. That's pretty incredible. See Shine trying to pop up a pushing hyzer here. And this is an Emac truth. He aced this hole with that same disc earlier in the year. I'm pretty sure it was that one. Have a low pushing hyzer here from Diego, but plenty of distance to get there. I suppose that's the drop zone you're referring to. Doesn't that's really correct. leave yes. a great chance to save your par, that's for sure. Just catching those right side chains. Let's go, Paige. Never. There you go. You can see Diego has that spinny, spinny putter. It's different from mm -hmm. all of the rest. We're going now into hole five. This is another part three, 355 feet. You have this green and then the sand, which don't come into play because they're short. But then you have OB on the right side and OB on the left short side. Pretty straightforward. It requires a technical shot. It's not, it's not just a hyzer. Able to stay in bounds there, but a little bit short from Juan. And like you said, these trees on the right-hand side really make it tough just to throw a straight hyzer. Definitely have to keep more Ooh. of a straight shot. No, oh, a pin seeker from <laughs> Pei Chu. Wow. What a beautiful shot. For most just of the perfect locals amount here... Of flip up. That one right there was a raider. And for most people here, this is a bonus birdie completely. Diego put a pump on that thing. There wow. You go. So a couple of looks at birdie here for sure as we get the shine. You can see he went back to that understable plastic, but probably not put enough juice in it. Hey, there was Doug Bajericus coming up in the back. Beto kind of getting caught up on those trees on the right hand side, but kicks out. Give him a chance to approach for par at the very least. Kind of flubs that up shot though a little bit. Gonna be a tester now. Yeah, you saw the disc, you saw his reaction. Definitely not happy with that one. Oh man! I looked on Great line. attempt there. Yeah, absolutely. Good bit as well there. Ah, right side chains from Beto. We'll have to take a bogey on this one. Very 
Great birdie, though, from Diego. Yep, Diego's picking it up. And Paige right there to just tap in a birdie in her own right. Juan will take the par. Nice. Par 4 is one of my favorites. Uh, you can go through this line, which the drone is flying through. Or, if you're feeling frisky and want to take the risk, you can do this line right here which was patented as the Juan Luarte line because last year he made that. He made us think that that left line should be OB. So it tricks people to try to go for the eagle. Is there anyone on this car that you think has the power to go for eagle on this hole? Uh, my brother has done it. Beto has done it. And I think, I think all of these guys can do it. But Paige okay. showing the experience there. Yeah, normally when you say 464 and par 4, you think it's possible with the right throw, but that one kind of gets caught up there from Diego. He was in the middle. Like, I couldn't tell which route was he going to. I can tell what your brother's trying to do. Mm -hmm. He didn't quite have the height on that to fight out. Nope, never had the height. Oh, and also this just kind of got flipped over too God. much. Oh, man. At least it didn't go OB. This looks promising. Mm, I think it's going to come in early. And it stays in bounds. It's become a really popular route, so we are definitely going to see it in the in the coming uh, coverage of this tournament. And that solid right there, there was a really solid op shot because that that basket, it's a, in, a, in a hill that it's higher than it looks here. Has her putt there after that forehand, but at least on the dance floor. And this right here is the drop zone. Yeah, a pretty decent chance to save par. Trying to skip up the hill there was Paige Shu, and she's like, eh, that'll do. That, that's good enough. Mm -hmm. Alberto flexing his moonshine harp short a little bit. Oh, oh, man, that is, that is brutal. He has like three of those already. And that's a scary putt with that much speed and the downhill. It is. Dangerous comebacker for Diego. Oh, no, don't roll down on him. That's, oh, man. That's the tricky part in that putt right there. There what go. a recovery putt, though, for par from Beto. Alberto does this. When he gets out of the circle, he putts with a maiden. Inside the circle, he putts with a shield. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, okay. Well. Just going to go ahead and let him finish out here. <laughs> Paige will grab the birdie. Four yep. down. She is that's butt the, right now. That's the smart way to play this hole right there. Just go pipe the middle, then make an upshot, make your putt. If you tried anything frisky, it'll bite you. Par three. Uh, it's a longer par, par three, but you'll see why. It's It comes from a heel, so it's a really downhill shot. And you, if you can nail it, you're home free. But then you have OB to the left and OB to the right. Yeah, a few trees try to navigate around, so certainly not completely wide open. Paige gets herself out there in the center of the fairway. Ooh. Oh, man. 
That, I think it's in bounds. We didn't see the graphic and uh, it looked poor par at least. This and this right out, here, it could be solid. This right here must be a hatchet. Pretty understable fairway driver. Gets out there. Ben's been throwing this disc a lot. Mm -hmm, that's a bounty. You can see it has the frog uh, drawing that I think his girlfriend did for him. But whenever you see the frog, it's a bounty. And it's a mid range. Oh, just not quite enough height to get over that. He, he's Still lucky through he, a decent bit, though. Yeah, he's lucky he got away from that section because that's all OB2. Pinpoint accuracy on the upshot there from Page to grab par. Oh, I'm trying to give that a little run. Did you hear that crowd? That was an ace from hole nine coming all the way up here to the microphone. I mean, but that was good too, I guess. <laughs> it was an ace <laughs> down hole nine. Old Danny Lindahl, you know, <laughs> trying to tell him, hey, your shot was good too. <laughs> I'm also digging the bucket hat, Danny. Way to solidarity with your player, Ricky. <laughs> yep. <laughs> We've actually like, we have a lot of people wearing bucket hats in my area now too. We call it going bucket hat mode. Yeah, that's... You need anything that you can get to improve your game. That's it. See your brothers partaking as well. There you go. And look at that. Get your putts. What do you know? I think everybody's getting their... Oh, no. So that means... He did go OB, yeah. Oh. I'll tell you this. Minus four on this stretch is pretty, pretty good. We're going now to hole eight. All the straight, you have OB on the left, OB on the far right. And then once you get closer to the basket, you have this green, golf green, then the sand, then that tree, which makes it a tighter, tighter green. This is a good ace run, but if, if you turn a little bit right, you're gonna find yourself in that sand. A little low out the hand from Paige Shoe. Luckily not to cut roll out of bounds. That's the ace line. Stabling up. Yeah, stabling up for him. And well done. Straight mid -rich. Also well done. Not quite the ground action he wanted, but still a pretty accurate shot. You see Diego going to something slower than the other guys, but he likes to play the ground when he lands flat with those putters. I mean, Paige has never really given herself much of a need for putting with these approach shots. That's correct. I think that was a slammer approach from her. One of the old uh, runs of slammers, which are not um, orbit. Oh. Oh, come on. What is, what? Just give it to him. Oh my God. That's rough. He's had a couple of putts like that that seem like we're destined to go in and then just happen to get rejected at the very end. There's another piece of information that might explain the nerves and that is this year Dynamic Disc and Westside Disc decided to sponsor uh, this players. So they are like trying to show many things. Once uh, Shine, that he's the best player of the locals, let's say Beto and Shine that the money is well spent on them so that has a lot of pressure add to it sure. being sponsor players and being in front of the cameras. Full 9 this is one of the
hardest holds on the course, believe it or not. It looks pretty straightforward, but people like to go OB deep, right, left, everywhere on this hole. It has a tricky elevation to it. Also has that OB golf green short that you could maybe fall prey to. That's correct. Beto nice. gets about pin high there with that. Just keep turning. Needs to settle down. Hit something. Nope. Mm -mm. That is yes, so close, barely. man. I mean, inches OB, probably. This was so lucky. Nobody remains in bounds after going right of that tree, and he did it. And he's able to make it. Give himself a chance for birdie here. Good looking line from Diego. Slides right over that OB green into a great position. Diego really likes to do this. He did this a lot in the last tournament when I played with him. He just understands the ground play. And what a putt from Beto. Again, he's had a couple of big ones throughout this round. Definitely has a good putting game. This is for par. There you go. What a save. Just had a heck of a front nine. As he is just all over the basket. Yep. Come on, Juan. There you go. Capitalizing off of the good fortune. Gets <laughs> himself a second birdie here. And Diego, of course, pretty much parked to get himself one under par before the front nine is complete. And so that's going to wrap it up here for our front nine. And again, the biggest event we have for disc golf in Mexico at Cocoyoc. We certainly appreciate all of you tuning in. I am Dustin with Fabian, and we'll see you on the back nine here shortly.